Welcome to another edition of Get Victory. I'm Ed Crenshaw, pastor of Victory Church, Philadelphia, and we're honored that you have joined us for this moment of encouragement. Hi, I'm Michael Faulkner, pastor for Outreach here at Victory Church, here to share a moment of Get Victory with you. All of us that pray expect God to answer our prayers, and we should because he tells us he will, and he does. But one of the things that has always intrigued me is how God will prompt us to pray and then says, now I'm going to use you to be an answer to your prayer. That's right. We have a part to play in God's answering the prayers. And we can't do it by ourselves. And we certainly can't do it without God. But he uses us in the pushing forward of his will. I, I've always found that fascinating. And one of the principles that continues to occur that I continue to see in my own life and in ministry and in all the things I do is, I don't want to call it the law, but a principle of generosity. That's right. A principle of reciprocity and generosity, which means Generally speaking, as we follow God's will, the things that we put in are blessed and then given back to us to distribute to others. What we give to God, our intentions, our words, our prayers, our time, our focus, our resources are then in many cases, given back to us to distribute to others. And in many cases, I believe that God will use the desires of our heart to prompt us to pray and to give to others. I have often told people, when you have a great need, begin to ask God to use you to meet others' needs in that area, and you will see a blessing. Why? Because the residual effect, the residual, um, residuals, the residual uh, leftovers of what God has called you to distribute allows you to have super abundance. You remember the feeding of the 5,000? How many baskets were left over? Yes. Remember the feeding of the 4,000? There were baskets left over. There's always a super abundance left over after we have given all that we have to God. Listen to what Jesus says to his disciples in Luke's gospel, the sixth chapter. And I'm going to look at the 37th and 38th verse. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and it will be forgiven you. Give, and it will be given you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Wow. The same measuring cup that we use to give is the measuring cup that God will use to give back to us, to allow us to receive. Wow. That does not mean I give to get. That's not God. I don't put in so I can get my blessings. No. I give out of the abundance of my heart and a desire to be a part of what God is doing, to be a part of his plan. But I, I'll tell you, this principle of, of, of God's allowing us to participate in this is amazing. Give, and it will be given unto you. Do not judge, lest you not be judged. Those are things that are very, very important. And for us to understand God is in control at all times, but our participation is well advised. 
Our participation in the work and in the things that God is doing is paramount to our blessing. Give, and it will be given to you. Press down, shaken together, packed together, and running over will people give to you. Why? Because you have given to God. Be a blessing. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort. During this trying time, our church is bringing you these words every day, Tuesday through Saturday. Also, you can join us online for interactive live stream services throughout the day and evening on Sundays starting at 9 a.m. and then on Monday at 7 p.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace.